we were able to virtually inspect 1,179 kilometres of transmission line network in 11 minutes. Hi, my name is Colin Ross. I'm a solutions engineer at Nearmap. Uh, and today I'm going to be walking through a little demonstration of using the Nearmap AI feature API um, to do asset management uh, or network management. It's something we see with lots of our customers such as electricity utilities, water utilities, um, is that they need to be able to understand whether they have certain types of objects uh, near their assets. So they might be interested in vegetation near their assets, they might be interested in buildings being built near their assets, um, things like water bodies and debris. Um, that kind of stuff is often of interest. Inspecting networks of assets manually, you know, out in the field, on the ground, can be really time consuming, uh, can be really costly. Nearmap AI is able to automatically detect a lot of these kinds of things that customers are interested in. We have a variety of ways to provide this kind of data. One option is what we call Nearmap AI Offline. Uh, this is essentially a bulk download of our data sets. Um, so you might provide, uh, you know, an area across the city uh, and get all the building footprints in that city. Now, in the example of a electricity transmission network, for example, there's a lot of areas between your transmission lines that you're, you wouldn't have, be interested in seeing data for. Um, so getting a data set across the entire footprint of your transmission line network is gonna result in a very big data set, uh, a heavy data set, a slow to work with data set. So AI offline is probably not the best option there. Nearmap has another option for accessing our AI data called our AI feature API. And essentially what this lets you do is make much more targeted requests. Um, you can ask for AI information about a very specific area of interest. So in the example of a transmission line, uh, you could get information about buildings just in the direct vicinity of your transmission line. So what I want to do today is just walk through an example um, of what the, the process of using the Nearmap AI feature API to find buildings within 20 meters of your transmission line network might look like. So here in QGIS, I've got uh, a data set, GIS data set loaded up representing some transmission lines in the greater Brisbane area. Um, you can see it's a very, very big network, thousands of kilometers of transmission line here. Even, even sitting at a computer looking at the imagery, it's gonna take a long time to get through um, inspecting this line. So zooming in, um, we'll start looking at what the process to use the AI feature API might look like. So the AI feature API um, has some limitations. The key one that I want to point out early on is that you can only make requests for areas up to one kilometer by one kilometer big. Um, so you're not going to be able to fit your entire transmission line into one request, unfortunately. We will need to split it up. Um, so the first thing to do would be to take this data set um, and split up the transmission line into portions that are small enough to be accepted by the AI feature API. Uh, so these colored lines here represent uh, that first step where I split the line up into 900 meter long lengths. Uh, this is to give us a bit of wiggle room um, and to give us space for that 20 meter buffer that we want to add onto the sides and around the end of those lines. Uh, so we need to provide a polygon to the AI feature API so we can use that shape to detect the objects. Uh, and the area that you're interested in. Uh, so the next step would be to create 20 meter buffers around those individual lines. And you can see that's what those are. These red shapes here represent those 20 meter buffers. And if I zoom back out to the entire extent of the transmission line network, you can see that I've generated uh, those 20 meter buffers on those chunks across the entire network. So essentially what we would now do is walk through each of those chunks, passing them to the AI feature API. So each of the requests to the AI feature API um, have a few components. Basically what you're doing is saying for this area of interest, so that's that 940 meter by 40 meter wide shape, tell me if you have, in this example, uh, detected buildings in your AI data set. And then the final part that we would need to point out is that we need to provide an API key to essentially authorize access to the API. But that's the gist of it. You say, 
where am I interested in? What am I interested in? Which is building footprints. And then it's a fairly simple uh, HTTP request. Um, essentially, you make a request for one URL using that area of interest, using that building footprint data set, um, and you'll get back a response. Uh, and inside that response, you'll get a variety of information, um, but the most important information is the AI features. So essentially, you will get a collection of shapes, basically, which are those building footprints we've detected that intersect with your area of interest. Now, because it's an API, um, you can set up this to be done in an automated fashion. The next step would be to just set up a, a script. There's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, but basically, you would then just say, for every one of those polygons that we've created, make that request to the API. Tell me if there are building footprints detected in the Nearmap API AI dataset um, in that area of interest. We do that for all those polygons that we created across the entire transmission line network. And then we can stitch them all back together, stitch the results back together. Uh, and we have one data set, which represents all the building footprints that the Nearmap AI system has detected within 20 meters of that transmission line network. Um, so if we jump into QGIS again, um, I'll zoom into a specific example to show what that might look like. So we can see here the black line in the middle is the original transmission line data set we used. Uh, the red lines represent that 20 meter buffer out from that line. Um, and we can see we can see in the imagery that there's a building almost directly underneath those transmission lines. Highlighted in orange, I've got one of those features from that final data set I talked about. Um, so we can see here that this building was able to be automatically detected essentially. No one had to sit there and, and manually scroll through imagery, um, trying to spot houses, manually drawing shapes over those houses so that we have a record of them. Yeah, so this, this removes the need to make manual field trips. This removes the need for someone to sit there and, and manually um, scroll through imagery and create data sets. So using this approach with the Nearmap Feature API, we were able to virtually inspect 1,179 kilometers of transmission line network in 11 minutes. So that's a run through of how we can use the Nearmap AI Feature API for automatic detection of various objects uh, in an asset management context.